Chapter 4 The Balance of Death The abyssal nexus quaked as the battle between Anubis and Hades raged on, a cosmic struggle that threatened to reshape the very foundations of the afterlife itself. Here, in the convergence of mythological realms, two ancient gods clashed with powers that transcended mortal understanding. Anubis, his jackal-headed form, a symbol of ancient wisdom and authority, remained steadfast in his quest to uphold the balance of souls. He raised his scepter of Maat high above his head, and with a resolute expression he began to weave intricate hieroglyphic patterns in the air. These radiant symbols shimmered with a divine light, and they danced around him as he invoked the judgment of the heart. Hades, the enigmatic lord of the Greek underworld, met Anubis's divine display with an unwavering resolve of his own. The bident, his trident-like weapon, gleamed with malevolent power as he held it aloft. In this ethereal battleground, he was determined to protect his dominion over the departed souls. Anubis, the guardian of the scales of justice, extended his hand toward Hades' spectral warriors. One by one the restless shades of the Greek underworld approached, their faces etched with a mix of hope and trepidation. Anubis's fingers glided gracefully over their spectral forms, and as he touched their incorporeal hearts, their essence became visible. In his divine judgment, Anubis sought to weigh the hearts of Hades's warriors, a ritual that would determine the ultimate fate of their souls. The virtuous souls among them, those who had led lives of honor and virtue, felt the scales tip in their favor. Their hearts, as insubstantial as moonlight, were lighter than the feather of Mart, a sign of their purity. These souls, deemed worthy, would find solace and peace in the afterlife. However, not all of Hades' warriors were virtuous. Among the restless shades there were those whose hearts bore the weight of their past deeds, and these hearts were heavy as lead. Anubis's divine scales revealed their inner turmoil, and their fate hung in the balance. For those who had transgressed in life, the journey to the afterlife was fraught with uncertainty. Hades, ever vigilant, watched as his warriors' fates were weighed. His fiery eyes blazed with a mix of determination and concern for the outcome of Anubis's judgment held the potential to shift the balance of power in the abyssal nexus. The lord of the Greek underworld knew that the fate of his dominion depended on the souls under his stewardship. As the judgment continued, a powerful presence emerged from the depths of Hades's realm. It was Cerberus, the three-headed hellhound and guardian of the Greek underworld. Each of Cerberus's heads bared its fangs, and its eyes gleamed with an infernal light. Hades had unleashed this formidable creature to protect his dominion and to ensure that his warriors received a fair judgment. Cerberus's three heads moved in a synchronized dance of malevolent intent. With each step the hellhound left scorching footprints on the ethereal ground of the abyssal nexus. The souls of the departed, both virtuous and restless, watched in awe and fear as Cerberus advanced, a fearsome embodiment of Hades's power. Anubis, undeterred by the arrival of Cerberus, continued his judgment. The clash of divine forces intensified as the scales of justice balanced the fates of Hades' warriors. The very skies darkened, as if the cosmos itself mourned the weight of the decisions being made in this ethereal battleground. The confrontation between Anubis and Hades reached a critical juncture, as the judgment of souls and the unleashed might of Cerberus threatened to tear apart the very fabric of reality. The nexus quivered with the strain of this otherworldly conflict, and the souls of the departed held their breath, their destinies entwined with the outcome of this cosmic struggle.